Welcome my friends. Thanks so much for joining me here on Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman and in today's practice we are going to move through some simple exercises that you can do to help relieve pain in the knees and in the feet and ankles. So of course being both a part of your legs some of these exercises go hand in hand for helping to improve stability and mobility both in the knees and in the ankles and feet. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Then roll out your mat and let's get ready to move into these simple stretches. And we are gonna begin our practice standing. So we are going to begin with your feet parallel. You can start standing at the front of your mat and just look down to make sure that all 10 toes are pointing forward. And let's go ahead and step the toes together. So we're gonna bring big toes to touch with a little space between the heels. Then you can gently bend into your knees, bringing your hands to support onto your knees. Then from here, we're gonna to start to make some nice circles. Hugging the knees together as you gently rotate the knees in one direction. So this is helping to mobilize the knees and the ankles. Then when you're ready, you can begin rotating the other way. And just notice how it feels going from one direction to the other, right? So you might notice some subtle changes, just letting your knees and ankles loosen up a little bit. Okay, then we'll gently just come on back to standing nice and easy. So just an easy warm up there. Now you can separate your feet to a comfortable distance, keeping the feet parallel to each other. We're going to shift your weight into one foot, roll up to the ball of the other foot. And once the heel is lifted, you're going to gently bend into the standing knee, which is going to give you a little more stretch along the bottom of the foot that's lifted. And we'll come on back to center and switch to the other side, shifting your weight, lifting the opposite heel, then gently bending into your knee, deepening the stretch. So we're gonna move through that cycle, alternating right to left. So let this movement be systematic. So it's nice and easy, it happens in phases. Shifting your weight to one side, lift the heel up, then gently bend into the standing leg, taking you into the edge of the stretch. And we come on back up and switch to the other side. So we can do both sides one more round. It's working into the tops of the feet, the bottoms of the feet, into the joints of the toes. Taking it nice and easy, just finding your way through the process. And we'll slowly come back to neutral. Now again, shift your weight over into one foot. I'm gonna step the uh, free foot off to the side a little bit. Then let's start to make some nice big rolls with the foot. So you're actually gonna come across the tops of the toes as you work that rotation. And then after a few rounds, you can reverse direction and notice how it feels going the other way. So this is really great for mobilizing all the little joints in the feet. When you're ready, we can reverse and move on to the other foot. So shifting your weight into the new standing side, just working that free foot off to the side a little bit, we begin to make those big ankle rolls. Now, if you struggle with stability or balance, you can stand next to a wall, kind of use the wall to support your balance or next to a table or hold onto a chair. Then reverse directions when you're ready. And just take care of yourself in this process. So after we've had a chance to roll the ankles a few times, we'll just let that go can kind of shake out the feet a little bit. All right, now from here, we are going to go ahead and come down onto your hands and knees. If you do have pain, difficulty in your knees, then I recommend grabbing a blanket, fold it up so that you can have a little extra cushion or support underneath your knees. So you can just bring that down onto your mat then come to kneeling on your blanket. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders and we're gonna start by curling your toes under. Now, depending on your level of tension, this might already be a really big stretch for you. If that's the case, you've arrived. <laughs> your work is just here. Work on stretching into the bottoms of the feet. 
Now, for those of you that want to get a little more, okay, we have more range of motion. We're going to go ahead and come up to a high kneeling pose, which is just shifting your weight and it's allowing you to get an even deeper stretch into the ankles and the bottoms of the feet. Okay, now from here we can go even deeper. So you can bring your hands back down to the floor and work on reaching your hips down to your heels. So we sit the hips back onto the heels and you're gonna feel how that deepens the stretch in your feet even further. So this might be your new edge. For some of you that are ready to go even deeper, you can start to walk your hands up your legs, coming to that full upright position and you find yourself in a toe sit. So again, this can happen in phases. It's important that you honor each phase of the journey because this also does require a good amount of flexibility in the knees. So take your time, find your own way there. And once you've arrived in your toe sit, the work is really in the patience and it's in the presence of just allowing yourself to be in this stretch, allowing for that opening into those tendons and ligaments along the bottoms of your feet. So after you've had enough, <laughs> we can come back forward into that tabletop position, untuck your toes, and let's just tap the tops of your feet onto the mat. It helps to release any tension in the ankles and the feet and increase the blood flow back down into the legs. Now let's press up into your downward facing dog. Nice and easy, just gently beginning to lift your hips up towards the sky. You can keep your knees bent as much as you need to. I think that's a little secret that they don't often tell you in downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent and just work on straightening the legs a little at a time. But for now, we're gonna pedal out the feet, bending one knee and then the other. Now take your time here, rocking your weight from side to side, and notice that as you straighten one leg and press that heel down towards the floor, you get more of a flexion in the ankle, so we're increasing mobility in the ankle, and it's giving you a deeper stretch along the attachments around the knees. So again, we're simultaneously stretching into the knees and into the ankles at the same time. So just enjoy this process. Be present for what you feel, taking it one little moment at a time. And when you've had a chance to stretch out both ankles and both knees, let's just find a moment of stillness in your downward facing dog reaching both heels towards the earth, gently pressing back through both knees. Again, you don't have to go to straight or fully extended in the legs, but just little by little as you press the knees back, you're gonna feel that deepening sense of stretch. Now let's slowly walk your feet forward. And if you do have a blanket on your mat, it's all good. You can just walk right over your blanket. Don't even worry about it. Go ahead and make your way forward towards a forward fold at the top of your mat. Now, when you arrive at this forward fold, again, you can bend your knees as much as you need. So don't even worry about it. You can soften through the legs so that your upper body can relax. Then you wanna look down at your feet and make sure that your feet are parallel, right? We want all 10 toes pointing towards the front edge of your mat as you gently Fold your body down. Now we are gonna grab opposite elbows here, coming into a nice rag doll, letting your body fold. We wanna soften with the pull of gravity. Let your head relax down between your arms. Let your arms be heavy as they hang from your shoulders. Just feel your upper body magnetizing towards the earth. And you stretch your hips up towards the sky. And we'll softly release your hands back down towards the mat. Now, as you inhale your breath, I want you to extend your heart forward, lifting halfway up 
unfurling through your spine. We come to like a half, a flat back. Now, bend into the left knee. We want to bend that left knee a little more. Then press your right leg as straight as you can. So some of you are already feeling like heaps of stretch. That's great. We want to take it one step at a time. Slowly, you're going to begin to open your right fingertips up towards the sky, taking you into a rotation, allowing you to stretch from the outer hip all the way down to the outer attachment around the knee. So we want to lean your weight into that right leg as you stack your right shoulder over the left, going right into that IT band. A full hearted yes as you lean into that stretch. Then we'll slowly release and just fold right back down over your legs. You can bend both knees as much as you need as you let yourself fold forward here. And we'll inhale and lift halfway up, extending your heart forward. Get a nice long spine, and then we'll try the other side. We're going to bend the right knee a little deeper, press the right leg, the left leg, a little straighter. Then we slowly begin to open your heart towards that left side, stacking the left shoulder over the right. Pressing your weight into the left foot as you revolve the rib cage around. Take it one breath at a time, really allowing yourself to be present for the experience. Whatever's coming up here, whatever you notice, lean into it. Take care of yourself along the way. Find your edge. And we'll slowly release. Holding your body back down, coming right back down to center. Again, you can bend your knees as much as you need, and let's grab those opposite elbows coming back into your rag doll. Nice deep breath. Soften as you go, releasing the weight of your body. And we'll slowly relax your hands down onto the floor. And now we're going to take a modified version of our toe stand. So what we're going to do is step the feet together. Go ahead and bring the big toes to touch and a little space between the heels. And we are going to come down into a squat, lifting your heels away from the floor. Now, if you have trouble in your knees and you can't quite get this much flexion, your hips don't come all the way down this low. Again, we're going to employ the support of your blanket. You want to fold that blanket up and bring it behind your knees so that as you come down, you have some support behind the knees. And if this is still too much, okay, another option have some blocks under your hands so that you can still come down but you have some support from the blocks, right? So just working to modify the pose so that it feels good to your body. And once you find your stability in the pose, you're gonna try to bring your hands onto your knees and lift your heart up. So when we did our toe sit previously, the knees were on the floor. Now for this round two, the knees are off the floor. So we're actually calling on some strength in the feet to provide this stability and balance. And again, you can release your hands down. Go ahead and come down onto your knees, right? So you can move your blanket or kneel on your blanket. And again, we're just gonna turn the tops of the feet to the floor and tap it out. All right, friends, from here, we're going to transition into a seat. So make your way there in your own organic fashion. And yes, if you want to sit on your blanket, you most certainly can. We are going to come down onto the floor and extend your legs out in front of you. So especially if your hips are tight, if your knees are tight, having some support from the blanket can be extremely helpful. 
And once you come into that seat, we're gonna bend the left knee in and extend your right leg out. And again, this is all gonna be dependent on your range of motion. So if you need to have your left leg a little less bent, modify as needed, make it work for you. We're gonna keep that right leg as straight as you comfortably can, and then begin to walk your fingertips forward, leaning into the stretch. Even if you only go a little, little bit, that's all you need to. We wanna try and keep the right leg as straight as possible so that we drive the intention of the stretch into these attachments around the knee. So it can be, you know, kind of a red hot sensation. It feels different than just stretching into the belly, the meaty part of your muscle. When we start to stretch into the tendons, when we start to stretch into the ligaments, it's a whole new level of sensation. So take it one deep breath at a time as you gently allow your body to respond to the stretch. Nice and slow. Give it one more full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. Leaning into your own edge. Then we'll slowly release and make your way back up to center, just gently coming all the way up. Then from here, we're gonna turn your left knee up towards the sky and slowly begin working your left heel in towards your hip. So we're slowly closing the angle of the left knee. So again, this is going to be highly dependent on your level of flexibility. But eventually in time, if you keep up with these practices, the tendons and ligaments around the front of the knee are going to stretch and allow you to get more and more flexion. Now I know that this is true because I have injured this very knee to the extent that I couldn't even bend my leg like that. But now in time with consistent practice using these stretch that stretches that we're doing today, you can see how much progress so we just little by little work on drawing that knee in, lift up in your spine, sitting up tall. And when you're ready, when you feel complete, gently, gently extend that left leg out. Go slow, take good care of your body as you go. You could even kind of shake out the legs a little bit here. And then we will explore the second side. So bend your right knee in to whatever degree it feels good to your body, right? So if you wanna bring the foot to your thigh, that's great. If your right knee is saying no, <laughs> you can have the foot down towards your calf, okay? Let it feel good to your body. Then wherever you are, we're going to extend that left leg straight, try and straighten through your left knee as you gently lean forward into the stretch. And again, it really doesn't matter if all you do is just lean forward a few degrees. As long as you lean in, the more you lean in, the more stretch you're going to get. So you just get to take care of yourself right now, feeling your way through your own body, discovering where the boundaries are, where the doorway is open. How can you find your way a little deeper into the stretch? Moment by moment, breath by breath. Take it slow as you work into the stretch. You should be having the experience of like, hurts so good, right? Like it's not your most comfortable moment, but it feels right. That should be where you're at, dancing in that sweet spot. And we'll slowly rise, making your way all the way back up to center. And we're gonna do that stretch across the right knee by turning your right knee up towards the sky. And then little by little, 
You're drawing your right heel closer and closer to that right hip, working your way in, maximizing the flexion across the top of the knee. We inhale and extend up through your spine. That really also like lifting up in your spine. It helps the alignment in your hips so that you can draw the right knee even closer. So we just breathe into it, feel what you feel, finding your yes, allowing for those muscles, those ligaments and tendons to stretch and begin to open. Good, and when you feel complete here, you can slowly extend your right leg back out in front of you. And if it feels good, you can gently wiggle out the legs, kind of shake it out a little bit. Okay, then lean back onto your hands, just leaning your weight back and keeping your legs extended. We're gonna flex your toes up towards the sky, and then point your feet, pointing your toes out in front of you. Just alternating back and forth, flex and point. Flex and point. We're gonna keep going here at a nice steady rhythm until you start to feel a warming almost like tingling, burning sensation into the shins and the calves. So yes, you might be starting to feel a little fatigue here. That's the feeling we're going for. We want to wake up the muscles, wake up the blood flow, get more circulation in the area. Flex and point for five, oh yes, four. If you're getting tired, just hang in there for three, two one more flex and point then again let's just shake out the legs let it relax wiggle out the feet very good work now one more sweet treat before we round out our practice okay you're going to draw one foot in towards you doesn't matter if it's right or left you can cross that leg on top of your other leg and we're just going to use your hands and begin to gently massage along the bottoms of your feet so you're using the flat part of your thumb. And I want you to press along the inner arch, that soft spot on your foot between the ball of your foot and the heel. So we're working along the arch of the foot, working your thumbs, kneading along the bottoms of your foot. And you're gonna find where the sweet spots are. You're gonna feel some of those trigger points. It kind of lights up a little bit. You can spend a little extra time there if you need to. Just a little foot love, a little foot love for yourself. And when you feel complete, we'll extend it out and let's give that other foot some love too. Again, using the flat parts of the thumbs to just gently knead along the arch of the foot. That sweet spot between the heel and the ball of the foot. And if you find those sweet spots, you find any tender spots, give it a little extra love. Hang out there. Take good care. It's a tough job to be afoot. So we want to give them some appreciation and some love. And once you've had a chance to massage both feet, shake it out. Just come into a nice comfortable seat, however that looks for your body. Just letting yourself feel comfortable and relaxed on your mat. Support yourself with blocks or a blanket, whatever is needed so that you can be in a state of ease in this seat. You can close your eyes, sending breath and healing white light energy all the way down your legs, swirling around your knees, shooting down to your ankles and swirling around your feet. Thank yourself for showing up for the practice, taking a little time to care for yourself. And I thank you for allowing me to walk with you in this practice. Again, I'm Jen Hillman. You can find me at my website, jenhillman.com and on all my social media at Jen Hillman. And don't forget to check out the Yoga V community where you can find all your favorite Yoga TX videos ad free. 
All the details are in the caption below, so read on for more and have yourself a fantastic day. Namaste.